Hello and welcome everyone to today's Thursday Live. This is Denise Arminio and I am a certified emotion code, body code, and um, group energy facilitator, as well as a genius um, biofeedback practitioner. And I am so happy and pleased to be here with everybody and to teach you about the genius and also to do a demonstration for you today. So thank you again, everybody for being here. If anyone has any questions or anything specific that they would work on, like to work on today, please um, put that in the chat and I would be happy to um, address any of your questions that you may have. Otherwise we're gonna, going to get started. And Claire McIntyre um, should be joining us shortly and she helps out with um, answering questions in the chat. So I if she, we'll get to your questions as quick as possible and when she gets here, she will also assist in any of your questions that you may have. Um, so I am going to start by sharing my screen. And here we are. So we have, um, this is the first page on the Genius as you log in. If you had worked on your last um, person you worked on will show up in this field. Um, that way it gives you the opportunity to load the current client results. If for any reason, the your device ran out of battery or it crashed or the Genius app crashed or for any reason you had to um, stop working in that session, it will come back to the one that you were at. <clears throat> so that is a nice little um, feature to have. The other thing I would also always recommend is to just make sure that when you do start a new scan to hit begin a new scan, it just kind of clears the energy from the field. So that is always a good thing. Um, and then if the session you are about to begin is someone that you have already worked with, you can just go to access your client records to get their information. There is no need to fill the information in here again, because you will only create a new record for them. So that could get um, confusing for you. So if there is, I lost my, um, hold on guys, I just lost the, um, some of my screen images here. Um, okay, so I see, Thank you. I see that Julie has asked a question. If we save our scans to the Quanta capsule, will our remedy plates work to imprint from those scans, waters, crystal, et cetera, or do we have to print directly from the genius? That is a great question, Julie. And I um, believe you should be able to, um, yes, use the remedy plate with the Quanta capsule. Um, I will have to get uh, more information on that, but um, I do believe that it is possible. My only concern there, and I'll have to check with Ryan, is that um, the genius sends um, waves through the quantum field. So you're hearing the sounds and it's going through the quantum field. With the capsule, you're just hearing the sounds. I don't believe it, it's generating and going through the quantum field um, at that point. So I will definitely get back to you and um, check on that for you. I'm not 100%. So great question. And thanks for um, posting it. Um, is there anyone? Um, Kathy, I see um, you in the... Um, group today. I don't think that you've ever been a volunteer. Would you like to be a volunteer today? I think I'm feeling a little bit chicken. You're Thanks. chicken? Okay. You don't have to. Um, not a problem at all. Um, so in that case, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to, let's see, I can, 
Um, I'll just do a group session for everybody if you would like that. Thursday live. And we can put today's date, which would be November. Okay, so we just put today's date, um, the Thursday live, and um, I'm just going to put female. Um, I know that there are one or two males in this group today, but I'm just going to hit female. It does not affect the scan. It just really um, depends on what graphics you see throughout the session. So now I'm just going to hit continue with new analysis. And so this screen is just here to give us um, for our records and our information. It does not affect the scan whatsoever. I usually like to put the date in here um, and take whatever notes might um, that the client would like to work on. That way I just have some records. So the next time I have a session, I know what we worked on. You could also click on these fields if they're appropriate. Um, and they're easy to click on and off. It's a little bit easier to see. Um, filling in the text information up here is a little bit tiny, but it is helpful. So um, anyway, um, and just give me, sorry, another second. I just need to make um, Claire my co-host. She just came in. And so here she is. Thank you. Sorry, Denise. You're welcome. Hey, uh, Claire, I have a question. I don't know if um, Julie asked a great question um, in the chat box. If someone connects a remedy plate to the um, and uses the Quanta capsule, does that still work or does it not work because it's not going through the quantum field? Um... Like, can you still, can you connect the remedy plate and send like frequencies from the quanta capsule into water or creams or crystals or whatever? I guess you could. <laughs> I don't know whether the quanta capsule translates. Yeah, that's the same. I, I know you that you hear the sound. So oh, you hear it in really the binaural, uh, you know, you hear the, the, the beeps and everything. But it's not, I don't think it's sending this the the waves the same way. It's not generating sine square saw, sawtooth waves. I don't believe. You have the opportunity in the quanta capsule, though, to change the frequency, shape, and form. Oh, so maybe so maybe that's the new feature then that you can do that. Yeah. Um actually, I will still find get um a, a de definitive answer for you. If you maybe, um, I'm just gonna need to get your email information. If you just wanna put it in the chat, that would be great if you don't mind putting it in there. Otherwise, just eat, oh, perfect, thank you. And I'll get you a definitive answer on that. Um, so anyway, Claire, just to catch you up, we're just doing a group scan. I just put um, mentioned about the user records and then you can just hit begin here. Um, this screen is so we can take a voice print. Uh, we can do that with the group. If everybody is ready, they can just um, unmute themselves. And I'm just going to hit, and Karen, I saw your reply. So thank you. I'll mention it in a second. Um, if everybody is ready, I'll count you down. Three, two, one, begin. And at that time, I just want you to say your full name and repeat the vowels A, E, I, O, U until the 15 seconds um, is up. So you ready? Three, two, one, begin. Perfect. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate that. And now you can just, yep, mute yourselves would be fantastic. Um, before we listen to the voice harmonics, 
Um, Karen was so kind as to um, answer Julie's question. Um, yes, you can use the Quanta cap, um, especially if you're using like the Blinken um, hub, you can put it around a water glass, et cetera, with headphones. So great. Thank you for clarifying that, um, Karen. I just wanted to be, um, make sure I was clear on that. So great. Um, okay. So now after you've made the recording, I always recommend that you listen to the voice harmonics at the bottom. This is the opportunity to listen to how the genius has translated your spoken voice into a frequency. It does have healing benefits similar to a homeopathic like cancels out like. I'm just gonna play that now for the group. Okay, great. So now I'm just going to select next. And then continue. And now I'm just going to um, get the gallery picture. Give me a second here and take a group shot. I can't tell if it's going into photos. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so now I'm just gonna um, click on the avatar and hit existing photo. And there we go. And we can just choose that. Okay, and now we can begin analysis again for this picture. Okay, and then again, just select continue. Now, I always like to use um, an affirmation here. This is optional, but I always think that this is um, a great feature to use. And again, here the genius will use algorithms to translate your written words into a frequency. Um, so, uh, and then it overlays that frequency throughout the session whenever you run frequencies. So the affirmation I like to use is all energies are transmuted into the frequency uh, whoops, of pure love. And so it is. And then you can just hit okay. And now whenever we we run frequencies, the frequency of that affirmation will be overlaid. I'm just gonna hit begin analysis. And okay, so now we can just go over a little bit of what these colors and the numbers mean. Before I do that, I just wanna scroll down to the bio field and just select the aura. And when we click on that line, it will give us the opportunity to get an aura picture. just going to hide the avatar. So um, when we look at the aura, we want to see bright, vibrant colors and clear, crisp colors. So whenever you're seeing like blurry or dirty or faded, that's a good indication of interference or stagnant energy. 
Um, so you would want to work on that. Uh, a lot of times the blue color, which we'll get into in a moment, um, is an indication of stagnant energy. So, you know, working with the blues would help break that up. You do want to see um, the more layers, the better, and hopefully the, the same consistent like width, um, that just is dimensionality. And the center is your physical body. And then the other layers relate to the other layers of the aura. And I'm not going to go into them now just because it we won't have time for the demo. Um, we can switch to the old version of the aura, which um, I always suggest that and hope that all color is filling all four corners. That's suggesting that you're grounded and in your body. Um, it's not quite to the corners in the bottom, but there is this nice bright color coming in, which that is really nice. We like that. And hopefully by the end of this session, we can, this can, all the four corners could be filled. Next, just to go over the numbers, the Genius uses a number value system from zero to 777. There are four different ranges and they are represented by four different colors. The rain, the lowest starting from the bottom, the lowest range is from zero to 200. That's represented by the color blue. These freak energetic disturbances are observed to be chronic energetic disturbances. You've had them for a longer period of time and is a good indication of stagnant energy. It could also be referred to as under energy and also items in this um, that are blue are causing a little bit of crisis on the body. The next range goes from 201 to 450. That's represented by the color green. Then we see 451 to 600 is the color yellow. And then 601 to 777 is represented by the color red. <clears throat> Those are your acute energetic disturbances. They are disturbances that are happening now in the present. It could also be um, considered heat or inflammation or over energy. And these um, frequencies in this range are causing stress on the body. Anything in between, I like to look at the numbers most specifically. So I like anything um, outside 400 and 600. Each practitioner has their own way of working with it. Um, it's not all is correct. Some, I just like to have a tighter range in there. So, you know, I will work with the greens a lot because most of the greens are going to be below 400, but uh, working with just the reds and the blues is perfectly fine too, especially if you're beginners until you get more familiar with the genius, it may be easier for you to just stay with working with the reds and the blues. Again, that's personal preference there. Um, on the left side, you see these like double arrow chevrons that's there just to indicate to you that there's um, more information. If you click on that line, clicking on the yellow or the line gives you the same information. It's just presented a different way. <clears throat> I like clicking on the line um, because it shows you all the items and they're all color coded. So it's just easier to look at it. And now the other thing I just want to mention while we're here, after the genius does an analysis, you will see that these categories, mind, bio, bio field, and body will always, will show up in different order. It shows up in the order in the priority in which the genius feels that you should be working on. So in this case for the group, it's suggesting the mind, then the body, bio field, and then the body. Custom libraries, if you have them, will always show up on the bottom. So when I run a session, and again, this is everybody, this is, you know, personal pre uh, preference. There is no right or wrong, but I like to work um, with priming the body first, meaning work with the foundation of the body. You wouldn't want to put... Um, the windows in on a house first, you want to work with the foundation. So 
Um, that means working with everything in the bio field and then your minerals, vitamins, and, and amino acids. That's what your body needs. The bio field is going to protect. It's like your force field around you there to protect you and your vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. Those are all your building blocks and what your cells need for healthy function. So first I like to send all those frequencies there. If you, I'm using a custom library that's from the bio, um, bio terrain, uh, bundle. If you don't have that, I would just suggest putting everything from the bio field. And again, vitamin, vitamins, minerals, amino acids down into the main hold tray. I am just going to go to the custom libraries. and hit begin analysis. Okay, so now I can just click on this like tab in the center of the screen and it brings down a search function the um, there's three little icons here, master library and all master um, represents master libraries. Library is just all the libraries you have and all is a search on uh, for anything, even the line items. I'm just gonna search a library title and type in the bio, whoops, bio terrain. And here you can see all of the libraries that are in Included in that bio terrain um, package. If anybody was ever interested, this is um, what those are. So vessel priming, it says begin is where I recommend that you start. I'm just going to drag this line down. It makes it easier down to the main hold tray and it adds all the different items in. We could click on this to see what those items are. Again, remembering that red is stress on the body like today in the present. And anything blue is what is out of balance on a more chronic basis. So now that we have all of those in the main hold tray, I'm just going to hit play, which is like that little play button on the right side of the um, main hold tray little banner there. And it brings us to progressive insights. And I will just hit. <laughs> So here, now the really nice thing about the main hold tray is that when you get to progressive insights, the balance, the there are algorithms that the genius uses that looks at the relationship between all the items in the tray. So it's kind of like, um, how are all, how do all these items play in the sandbox? They may have um, been a yellow or green when you look on the main system overview page or on the library. But when we bring them in with all these other frequencies, maybe now they're not as happy or not as balanced. So uh, they may not, maybe now they're a high. So that's the reason why it changes. And then that's why I also add in for this particular library set, all the items because they're foundational and I want to make sure the body's getting them all in and I don't want to mess anything. So I'm just going to move the timer to one minute and select all and we can hit those. Hit those.
Okay, so you can see at the bottom, average percent rectification is 40%. That is good. We like to see um, percent rectification 40% um, and above. And actually, if it's over 40%, you'll see a little pop down here that says excellent. Um, we also want to look at the harmony, alignment, and energy flow. I like to see that these three um, segments here are within like a, the spread isn't more than 20. I just feel that when it gets more than that, it's really easy for um, it to get out of balance again. So the closer that spread is, it's more stable. And I will now, after I ran all of those, deselect all of them and just run the lows for 30 seconds. So I'll put the timer down to 30 and I'll run the lows. And again, I just want to point out that there, the in progressive insights, we see highs, lows, and mediums. I, yeah, high, mediums, and lows, sorry. And um, there's two ways you can work with it. The quantum field is really an amazing thing and our intention is so important. So there are some people that work with um, the highs, mediums, and lows as being the priority on what to work with. Um, myself and some other people use the high, mediums, and lows as the highs are like your reds, they're more stressed, and the lows are more like you're chronic, more in crisis. Just hold your intention for how you want to work with it. And that's how the genius will work with you. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to highlight the lows and the highs and work with those for 30 seconds. Okay, so here we're at 27%. Um, that's not bad. It's not 40%. In this case, if you want to get that up a little higher, you can deselect the highs and perhaps run the lows a little longer and see having a less smaller amount of helps. rectification and the harmony alignment and energy flow is really tight between 51 and 53 so that's amazing really happy with that um oh okay karen saying that the sound seemed clearer and louder um so basically karen when you go into share or um when you share your screen on the bottom left, it says share the sound. That's what that's what I'm using there. So you can also, by clicking the three dots at the top, it says share computer sound. So that's what I'm using. Hope that helps. Um, you can also then run the highs, deselect the lows and run the highs for 30 seconds. <laughs> Excellent. We have a 56% 50 rectification and we go from 52 to 65. So again, I'm really happy with that. I don't feel I need to run that anymore. I think that those are great numbers. So I'm going to back arrow now so we can get to the um, system overview page. If you go down to the main hold tray, just to the left, there's an arrow. If you click on that, it gives you the opportunity to either X out and um, remove items one by one, or you can hit clear all, which is what I'm going to do. And now my step two is going into the next screen. That's a system. Um, 
it's called the general overview and you get there by clicking on the system overview and the difference um, between the system overview and the general overview is the system overview shows everything in the main menu within categories. When you go to general overview, it takes everything out of the categories and puts it in chronological numerical order. And it's also bringing in all the line items from all the custom libraries. So it's a really huge database of every of all the line items that are in your particular genius. And for me, this is really helpful in finding the root cause or the underlying cause to things. There's no way that we can possibly know. I mean, unless with your different um, clairvoyance or gifts that you can tell or muscle testing, but this really gives you a really easy way of seeing what some of those underlying causes will be. So I'm just gonna click on the system overview. Okay, so now we have all of these items. Remember that there's only 777 slots. So it may look like there are a lot of reds and yellows and greens and blues, but that's because there's only so many spaces for it to fit. And I have like 2000 libraries and probably close to 80,000 line items. So that's why there's so many showing up with the um, same high level. So now I can just go down to the main whole tray again and hit this little crosshairs or plus button and I can add the top 50, which would be the top 50 reds here. And I can also add the bottom 50. And I can then remove the libraries. We can also hit this zero to 100 and also just see the res reciprocal view. So now we're looking at all the blues or all the um, more chronic issues in here for everyone. So for the group, we're seeing the conception vessel CV6, which that point is just below the belly button. Um, we see there's some discordant energies, the solar plexus chakra, neurogeneration, there's some stuff off. Um, and as you can see, we can go down. Now, you may not think that any of these frequencies would have to do with anything that um, may be ailing you, but it's a very good chance it is since these are showing up as chronic. Okay, so now we can remove the libraries. And now we're just based with all the items in that are from the system overview page. So we have the blue, the um, low range showing first here. So you can see there are a lot of meridian points um, that are chronically out of balance for your. So what this is telling me right off the bat from looking at this is we probably need to work with the meridians um, when we finish this. So this is really helpful in kind of guiding us on where we need to go. I am going to add in the bottom 50 and I will hit switch the view again, um, just so we can see what some of these things are. And I will add the top 50. That gives us close to 200 items. The reason why it's only 192 is because there must have been some items from the system overview that were in both views. So it's not going to put an item in twice. Okay, and now we can hit begin analysis. <laughs> And again, I'm going to select all, move the timer to one minute, and select play.
Okay, so here we have a lower average percent rectification. It's 22% and Harmony was 11. So for this, I would deselect all of them and I'm just gonna select lows and I'll run those for 30 seconds. Because it's so low, I just think that we may need to work with smaller amount of frequencies at one time. Oops, wait, I, want, I forgot to move the timer. Okay, so that's still low. So this is a good exercise um, because it's still low. I might suggest that if anybody has water with them that they have some water. Sometimes I find when we're getting low frequencies, it could be an indication of dehydration, but we did have a, a high rectification before that. So that might not be the case. I am going to move um, the timer to one minute and run the lows for one minute here. Okay, great. So you can see we do have an average percent rectification of 50. Um, the only thing here is that the alignment is at 38% and the energy low flow is at 63%. That is a little bit larger than the 20%. And if this wasn't a demo, I would probably work on that a little bit more. But because we are have a time constraint and I want to show you other things, I'm not going to... Um, work with the lows there again. I will go to the highs and run the highs for 30 seconds here though, and see if we can get a decent reading. Okay, so here we're at 32%. So again, these um, seem to be needing a little extra assistance to clear. So we could put these um, and say these again for another 30 seconds, which is what I'm gonna do. So we are struggling a little bit here today. <laughs> I would say if anybody has water to please have some, I'm not going to stay here again because I want to show you some other things, but um, I would work on this. In fact, um, and I wouldn't rescan it yet because um, the highs, mediums, and lows we're not getting like a high enough rectification to rescan it because then you might not be working on the same ones. Um, so I'm going to go back out and 
I'm just going to try something here. I want to look at a hydration panel. And I'm going to add all of these to the quick sap because I just want to try running these and just see if um, hydration has anything to do with why these may not be um, clearing so easily. So now I'm just going to go to the timer. Um, we can run this for 30 seconds. rectification here so that is good it's up to 51 percent and it goes from 41 to 63 so that's really close to being in that 20 so i'm just going to go back to the progressive insights right now and i'm just going to see if we select the highs and the lows again and run those for one minute if we can get these up Thirty-five percent rectification. It is a tight um, for the harmony alignment and energy flow, so I'm happy about that. So thirty-five percent when these are so close together is pretty good. So I'm not going to work with these anymore. Um, again, if it was a regular session and you felt that you wanted to get those up, you could. I'm not just not going to do it right now for the demo. Um, so now we can go back to the system overview. We can clear this tray and some of the things I would look at here now, I would just go back and check like today's stress, what might be stressing everybody. So the, we see the adrenals, blood sugar sensitivities, liver and kidneys. Again, remembering that this is just in the moment um, and it was a snapshot of when um, the genius did the analysis of the group energy field. So um, but uh, on a more chronic basis, the genius is saying that uh, acidic virus, emotional, heavy metal toxic toxicity, degenerative and brain are more on a chronic, um, issue. I'm just going to add those. And I'm going to also add the grains here. And then I'm going to go to, um, digestion and I'm gonna add everything. I could actually just add the title digestion and I think I'm gonna do that. I just wanted to look and see what was our reds and our blues here and we can see that, but I'm just gonna drag and drop the line for digestion. And then the other thing we said we were gonna look at which was really off is the meridians. So um, we did see a lot. So I wanna work with the um, reds first. Um, and then I'm just going to open up each one so I can grab. Um, actually, I feel like I should be putting them all in for some reason. And then the spleen, and we can again add them all.
and the kidneys. I'm just going to run all of these first. And then I'll come back. And I'm going to select all and hit play for one minute. So we have a 55% rectification. And again, the numbers above are really good there. So I'm happy about that. Um, I'm Because again, we have a time issue. I'm gonna go back now and grab the blue um, meridians that were blue. And I'm also gonna grab the ones that are below the green ones, but I'm just gonna add all the points from the go from the bottom three but I also well we'll look at the never mind sorry how is everybody doing everybody feeling okay Can, are they feeling all these are you feeling all these frequencies whoa the stomach meridian is pretty stressed for everybody today. Good, Julie. I'm glad you're drinking a lot of water. Okay, so I'm going to now run all of these, all of the frequencies again. I didn't... And again, I'm going to use the same process. One minute, select all of them and hit play. great average percent rectification and I'm happy with the uh, numbers for harmony alignment and energy flow so now let's just go back and we can see look at um, what the aura looks like for the group we did run a lot of frequencies so it could sometimes you can't always tell if it's going to look better but we'll <laughs> Okay, so we can clear the avatar. It's a little paler as we get out. Um, uh, a purple, which is purple would be more like your crown chakra, but it's a little bit on the darker side. So it may be pulling in right now a little bit more of the negative negative attributes of that. Um, 
I would still want to work on that a little bit. And, you know, we see here that we're starting to get a little bit ungrounded. So I'm going to go right away to, I'm going to clear out this main whole tray and I'm going to go to spiritual protection and bring in the grounding. And I'm just going to add in um, 528, which is, or can I see it? Uh, for transformation and miracles. And we can add in um, the, where is it? Golden ratio. And I'm going to add the neurotransmitters and then just add in some grounding um, uh, frequencies here, the Alaskan elixirs and it is showing um those are at blue so i'm going to add the red the blues and the greens and let's just run that for one minute <laughs> and i select it all and just hit play <laughs> here. So I'm happy with that. Hopefully we can see some good movement on the aura. Again, um, we're seeing some yellow, some different colors. I would probably still run that more. We are bringing in some more colors and we do look like we're a little bit more grounded So as what's coming in. So that's good. I would run these longer. We're running out of time though, but I would like to hear from everybody if you want to put it in the chat or if anybody wanted to um, unmute themselves and say you know, if how they're feeling, if they've noticed any differences or shifts through this session, I would love to hear your comments um, before we end for today's session. So Jennifer says she's more relaxed. That's great. I'm happy to hear that. Anyone else? Any I had, pain? I had, I had, I had to do What did you say? I didn't hear you, Claire. Sorry, Sorry. I said that I had a couple of yawns. Oh, really? good. So something's clearing. Good. good. Good, good, good. Anyone else before we um, close up for today? Do you have any questions or anything that you would like um, to work on in the next session? Um, next Thursday is Thanksgiving here in the state. So there won't be a Thursday live, but we will definitely see you the following weekend. Um, um, and they're just stay tuned and for watching for some of the webinars that will be coming up next week. Um, there'll be lots of fun information coming out. Um, Karen said, do you feel looser? Oh, that's good. And Jennifer says she was yawning too. So great. I hope there was some great shifts. 
for everybody and that you feel better and that it will carry you into the weekend and have a lovely weekend, everybody. And I look forward to seeing you in two weeks um, for the Thursday live for everybody that is celebrating Thanksgiving. Please have a wonderful Thanksgiving and um, enjoy the time with your family and friends. We have so much to be thankful and grateful for, and especially grateful for this amazing technology that can help us so much. So thank you again, everyone, and have a great week. Thank you, Claire, for assisting me um, on the chats. So thank you, everyone. Bye.